Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Chris M. Walker. I, I am the founder and CEO of Legit. And the, the video I'm about to show you is a part of a sequence I put together for you to help you make money on Legit. Legit is the number one freelancing platform for marketers, agencies, businesses, affiliate marketers, and just anybody in the marketing or agency space. And it's growing and it's gonna become the number one platform in the world. And I wanted to show you how to make money on legit, whether you're a freelancer or whether you you just want to do a little side hustle or make a full-time living doing freelancing, this series is for you. This is going to be one of the probably 10 or so videos in this series. Uh, if you have any questions, jump into the legit Facebook group and we'll help you out. Otherwise, enjoy the video and I'll see you soon. Next up is a thumbnail design. This one I briefly touched on, but let's talk about some quick bullet points on this. This is very, very, very important because this is what people will see and what they will click on. If you want to make the algorithm happy and you get seen in the algorithm, it's still not going to do any good if people don't click. As much as I hate that that's a thing, it is a thing. Some things that are important, be in the picture. We have hard data that shows that the, if there's a person in the picture and it's the person is the person doing the work or at least running the business, they're going to get more sales. So if you're camera shy, you're introverted, just sack up and get in the picture. Clickbait, unfortunately, does work. But you don't want to go to, you don't want to lie, but you want to, you want to get something that entices people to click. And you'll see in a minute what I mean. You want to be, and make something that induces curiosity, but not too much curiosity. And if you, what I mean by that is some people get a little too clever with the SEO link tornado. That's really cool, but I have no idea what that is. It's curious, but if somebody else has the same service and it says powerful, backlinks from my network or something like that, I'm more likely to look, look, click on that. So you got to find a balance between being something that makes people want to see more, but not too much that they don't want to look. You want to have a consistent look for all your thumbnails so people will visually recognize you when they see them. I'm going to take a look at some of mine and show you some that are good and some that are not. <laughs> you can see all but like a couple of mine have the same theme with the, the same colors, the gold and the black. With the arrow, that's kind of the clickbait that I'm talking about. See how it points to stalled out? This gives you an idea of what it is, but it's not exactly, it's clickbaity, but it's not too clickbaity. It gives you an idea of what it is, but you need to know more. And same thing, kind of thing here and here. This one is one I did myself, if you can't tell. I thought it'd be really clever, and we're going to talk about this service again later, but this service doesn't sell at all. Like it's been up for like three years and has eight reviews. So it just doesn't sell very well. And that's partly because of that. Uh, I'm kind of emotionally attached to it, but this is a good example of how important that is. You can see 17 reviews, 642, 432, 1558, 672, eight. So you can, that's a great example, I think, of how important a thumbnail is. Now there's other things to consider too, but that's kind of that. So let's just review that real quick. Be in the picture, just, just get over it and get a picture of yourself. It's not that hard. Most of us have a camera. Clickbait, you know, so stalled out and with an arrow pointing to it. Curiosity, so they're not exactly sure what it is, but it don't be too clever so they don't click. And then a consistent look.